This last assignment is about putting all the pieces together and prepare a final presentation of your Commons project, based on all the skills and knowledge you have gained throughout the course. To help you with that, I would like to give you a short summary on the past assignments. As you will remember, we started off with an introduction of both the psychology of negotiations and the topic of comments. You presented one comments project of your choice and completed your first steps into the psychological analysis of the project and its stakeholders. In the second assignment, we had a closer look at the psychological processes between and within people dealing with shared resources. To experience these processes yourself, you played social dilemma games, being torn between your so-called pro-social and pro-self motivation. Additionally, we talked about the important role of trust in negotiations and how communication can lead to win-win outcomes in negotiations on shared resources. The third assignment dealt with the resource characteristics and how they affect psychological processes. We focused on the characteristics of divisibility, ownership and the expected value of resources. Moreover, we learned that there are some characteristics that are particularly relevant for Commons projects, such as exhaustibility of resources. All these characteristics have a great impact on your perceptions and behaviors in negotiations. In the fourth assignment, we discussed the stakeholders and their particular needs, motives and interests with regard to the negotiated resources. I referred to the illustrative orange example to show that seemingly incompatible positions might become compatible when looking at the party's interests instead of their positions. Considering the underlying interests and taking the resource characteristics into account, it is often possible to find win-win agreements. Thus, in this assignment, you took a closer look at the stakeholders' interests, needs and motives in order to be systematically prepared for the upcoming negotiations. These negotiations were actually conducted in assignment number 5 to help you practice your negotiation skills and to try some of the negotiation tactics you have learned. You were asked to apply some problem-solving strategies that promote the finding of integrative agreements. Moreover, you learn more about contentious tactics that you should only apply cautiously when you want the other party to move forward towards an agreement. Altogether, I hope you learned a lot about negotiations in the context of comments. Based on what you have learned about negotiations, you may think about ways on how to apply your negotiation skills in other settings. I hope that the psychological perspective on negotiations provided you with useful insights into what happens psychologically within and between people when negotiating on the sharing of resources. This may provide you with some powerful tools that hopefully help you to implement and maintain Commons projects in the future. For me personally, this course was a very pleasant and rewarding experience. And I want to thank you for making this course such a wonderful place to share and develop knowledge. I wish you all the best in your future negotiations as well as in your future Commons projects.